Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics for the Super Nintendo. Hard to believe it has been well over two and a half years since I did Joe and Mac 1 for the SNES. And well, there is another Joe and Mac 2, well technically it's called Caveman Ninja 2. That's for the arcade, which is a gameplay very similar to Snow Brothers. That's also made by Data East, of course, and <laughs> look at them, they're pounding the shit out of each other with clubs. It's just like America, except they don't use guns. Then again, didn't they have, like, some kind of intro like this, similar to John Mac 1? Where they just brutalize each other for no reason? Okay, so the gameplay of John Mac 2 is very similar to the first game. They say it's better if you got a friend and... Right now, I'm not playing with anyone, except myself. Uh, let's go to the options. Okay, controls are very simple. You only got like three things to do, and they're spread over two buttons each. So yeah, we'll go one player. Oh great, those are those Neanderthals again from the first game. Are they patrolling the village? What are they doing? It's like, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting for what's in there. What the hell? How can you tell? Oh, wait, you found a crown. Huh. Yeah, they usually do put the crowns in the tents with skulls in them. Or the huts with skulls in them. Last night, a caveman named Gork came and stole our great crown. Please bring it back to us. Okay. And if you notice, if you look in the uh, chief's hut, it act you actually see Congo from Congo's Caper. First, I have to go to Tiki Village. So as you can tell, there are some refinements to the gameplay. To get in a hut, you just have to bang on the gong. And no one's home. Of course it'd be lonely if nobody's there. I can't get in. How can you not get in? The door's open! Wait, there's no door! I don't understand. Okay, now we actually get to play the game. Kali Kali Valley. Oh, look, dinos. How's it going? I'll take that. Okay, I didn't get it. Stupid pterodactyls. They're pretty easy compared to the first game as well. Yeah, meat! Did I just spit at him? Apparently, whenever you eat meat, or eat any kind of food, you can actually use it as a weapon. Now I'm spitting out bones. That's pretty cool. So whenever I eat a chicken, I just spit bones. That's one powerful ass bone to be able to do that. But apparently that's how it works. I'm getting loads of protein now. Okay, something tells me I have to be very careful with that bridge. But only certain parts of the floor are spinning like that. So I should be able to cross. I don't know if somebody's eat a fruit. Now I'm spitting seeds. Okay, now I just picked up some wheel. I don't know what it's for. I'm guessing that's currency? This is a blind run, so I haven't really played much of it. Hey, get over here. Hells yeah. What is that, some kind of checkpoint? I believe it is. Oh, uh, what the hell? That's just a big example of rule 34 right there. Did I just eat a hot pepper? Yes, I did. I'm spitting on flames. And now that enemy's dead. 
Okay, something tells me I have to go over there. Actually, I don't have to, but I can. Just to get some more meat. Oh, what's this? Looks like some kind of key. Okay, I, I can get used to this. It's not that hard, to be honest with you. Whoa! I don't think so. I'll burn you alive. Joe used the key. Yeah, I kind of figured a skull key would go in a skull door. It just makes sense! Even in video game logic. Taka Hills. Who comes up with these names, really? Tiki... Whoa! Okay, apparently it doesn't knock you off the bridge, but hurts you completely. Why would I run under the snails if I can just club them to death? What the hell? Ride the worm. Okay, so this thing doesn't hurt you, but instead you can ride it. That's convenient. That you can use animals to ride on. Do I have to hit them first, or can I just do that automatically? Okay, what's this? Prepare for a wild ride. Yeah, I see myself needing to save state. No, maybe I don't have to. Yes, I do. Okay, so I screwed up there the same as before. And I had to keep going again. I think I'll just take that death. As a reminder of my insolence. stuff again. Could be useful. But I need to get up there. There we go. Alright, let's get back on the minecart again, and this time don't screw up. Joe looks really nervous. face wait you crash into one enemy and you die instantly what the hell so you probably had to prepare for this in advance and good I made it okay so far so good except for that minecart part and great I can use water and spit it. Heh <laughs> stupid piranha. Another stupid piranha. I'll just jump over. Whoa! Apparently those Neanderthals are skilled with bow and arrows. And not at hygiene. They know how to use a bow and arrow, but they can't even shower. That just tells you a lot. Okay, now I'm out of the water. Oh, some of these come in tens. That's convenient. Let me try to grab it. Oh, good, I made it. I spit, bitch. What did I just pick up? Okay, looks like I got an upgraded club. Okay, I'm not a fool. I know those are piranhas over there. And they just jump at you. So there's practically no way I could have prepared for that. I would have liked to, but I couldn't. Okay, that's cheap right there. And I still have an upgraded club, which is good. It's good to know I can f shoot from a distance. Okay, is that water gonna hurt me? No, it isn't. If anything, it could just lift me right up. Did I need to do this? Huh. Looks like I'm in a different area. A stegosaurus. Okay, what can go wrong? Oh god, a dragonfly! Ah, 
Actually, a whole lot of enemies just popping out of the woodwork. What is this? I'm dealing with dragonflies, snails, and Neanderthals all coming at me while I'm on a stick of source. Yep, this is Data East for ya. Too bad none of these things are dropping health. Okay, do I have to fight this thing? Ah, oh, it's asleep. Night time, sweet dreams. I shall go now. Uh oh. Don't don't tell me he's not gonna wake him up. Don't wake him up. Aw, oh, he woke him up. You bitch! Do I have to go this way now? That was close. That could have gone horribly wrong. Oh, good. A checkpoint. I can't even attack the boss yet, apparently. Okay, so as long as I have the upgraded club, I can probably just do this. And I just keep shooting from a distance, you know. Avoid the rocks. And I win! That first boss was way too easy. I got the stone, six more to go. I'm guessing I came off the crown? Like, it didn't explain where I got the stones. Okay, an interesting little overworld. Apparently there are villages. Cool. Oh, that's my password. I was wondering what that was. May I help you? Okay, I have 64 wheels. I gain great strength. Gain a little strength. It's for a lady. It's really fresh. Your house will be improved. Yeah, I think I'll remodel my home. Even though there's really no reason to do so. You must collect seven rainbow stones before you face Gork. Here, take mine. Oh, cool. I only got five more to go. What's this? I'll take you to your home. Uh, I might as well take a look at my new home. Luckily, I got a pterodactyl that can take me back. Wait, I'm guessing this here is my home. No way, it's this one. Okay, it doesn't seem that different. Maybe I'll put new carpeting there, who knows. Okay, so if I go over to that gateway over there, I can go back to the level I was in. Or I can get on the pterodactyl and get taken back. And for some reason, I'm getting raped from behind. Okay, so I can practically go back to areas and get some more wheels. So it's very fluent or fluid on how I can play. What's this? This telescope lets you see many places. Uh, let's try Gork's cave. He looks mean. Ooh, Gork or the crown? Uh, let's see Joe's hut. Looks like Joe's house. And I'm guessing that house that I couldn't get in before was Max. So they don't live together? Huh. I learned something new. Let me try the village in general. Even though I don't really need to. Nothing special. Okay. So I guess if I go to more areas, I can see more places? Is that how it works? Probably. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here, and then next part we'll continue on. See ya, everyone.